Hello everyone, welcome to HO Electrical. In today's video, we will learn how to wire an NPN sensor. For this video purpose, I am using this proximity sensor from the brand Automation Direct. So before we start into the wiring process, let's first go through the basics of the sensor. Now this is an inductive proximity sensor. By the meaning of inductive proximity sensor is, it will detect the presence of metal. If there is any metal in front of this, sensor then only it get energized now let's have a look into the uh, wiring diagram so if you look into this round small little circle you can see three three letters like BN BK and BU BN stands for brown BK stands for black and BU stands for blue in terms of the wiring color code so these are the wires like brown black and blue so if you look on the diagram now bn which means our brown number one wire number one is connected to the positive supply of the dc power supply and the another one is b now our second wire is bu which is the bu stands for blue so our blue will be connected to the negative of the dc power supply and our last wire which is the black black will be the output from the sensor and will be connected to our load so for this ap application I'm using this light bulb as our load. So this output from the black wire will be negative since it's an NPN sensor, the last letter N, which means negative output. Now in the bracket we can see this sensor is normally open, which means this sensor will only energize or activate the load when the metal is present in front of it. Now the voltage rated for this sensor is 10 to 30 volt AC. That means we have to put a power supply of 10 to 30 volt DC in order to energize the sensor and range is 4 mm. That means any metal present between the distance of 4 mm it will detect it and if, it, if the metal is more than 4 mm let's say it's, this metal is sitting on let's say 8 or 10 mm distance it won't sense it. If you bring it within the range of distance of 4 mm, the sensor will get energized. So that was the uh, pretty much electrical information about the sensor. Now is the time to start wiring process. Here is my small little setup. Let me go th over through it. So this is my DC power supply and this is my AC input coming onto the DC power supply. This DC power supply will provide a 24 volt DC output which is going to this terminals here. So this is my positive set of terminals this is my negative set of terminals so as per our discussion according to the wiring color code and the wiring diagram so this these wires brown will be connected to the positive terminal blue will be connected to the negative terminal and black will be my output which will be connected with the load so the wiring setup is complete now the sensor cable is connected my load is connected the sensor cable, the brown wire is connected to the positive terminal, blue is connected to the negative terminal and the black one is connected back to my load. And from the other end of this bulb, my another end is connected with the positive 24 DC supply. My negative will be coming from my sensor, 0 volt here and in, in that way is going to complete my 24 volt DC circuit for this bulb. So let's say, let's energize the sensor, let me bring the metal near the sensor and see what happens. I bring the screwdriver, bring it closer, 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 and you guys can see the light come on. So this proximity inductive sensor is sensing the metal and energizing my load. Now when this sensor activates, it sends the uh, signal of zero voltage and this black wire here. So that means it is NPN sensor because it's sending zero voltage here. If it was the PNP sensor, then it would, would have been opposite. So for PNP sensor, now my black wire will send positive signal and this another wire on my bulb which is connected with the positive will be connected to the negative then. So that was pretty much about the PNP sensor wiring and I hope you guys love this video and uh, if you guys want me to hook up the PNP sensor and rewire everything, please let me know down in the comments below. And just on a side note, just to let you know, you cannot
connect your sensors straight to the heavy loads because these sensors have a limited output current if I look on this documentation here it says maximum output current is a hundred milliamp I don't know where I see yeah yeah here so output max is hundred milliamp if this load needs more than 100 milliamp the sensor won't be able to energize this load so for heavy heavy industrial application we use relays and the contactors in order to overcome this problem so please subscribe my channel and like my video if you guys like it if you guys have any comment leave down a comment below i will be more than happy to help you thank you for watching